Hey there, this is Keizu Keto, Stacy, Greg, and we have another chaffle video for you. Yeah, so you guys probably have already seen our Mexican chaffle, three different recipes. Well, we wanted to follow that up because we wanted to give you four recipes, but we didn't want to have, make that video too long. So here is your dessert. Yes, we have chaffle churros. Churro chaffles? Churro chaffles? We have churro chaffles. Churro chaffle fries. Let me show you how to do this. Okay, so now that we have that mixed up, Let's start making them. This does make three to four chaffles, depending on how full you fill it. What I do after they're heated up is sprinkle on some cheese beforehand. This is going to give you that little bit of crunch on the outside, and it's also going to make it so that the cinnamon sugar mixture will stick better. And I kind of spread it around so that it gets a pretty even coating. And then again, I'll sprinkle a little more cheese on the top for that same reason. Because the cheese on the top and the cheese on the bottom is going to create kind of like a candied layer, although it's not candied, but sort of like a candied layer would. For the cinnamon sugar topping, the easiest and cleanest way that I feel to do this is to take, um, I put two cups of the Lakanto Classic in here along with two tablespoons of cinnamon. Just kind of shake it up, shake it around. This also is going to help coat a little better than if you were to put it on a paper plate and use tongs or anything like that because you know the tongs are going to grip it and it's going to kind of make it fall off. All right so these cook about the same time as a regular chocolate about three to five minutes so you can see where that candied kind of glaze is on there from the cheese. Just get them out of the maker throw them right directly in here. The heat and the cheese is what is going to help the cinnamon sugar mixture to adhere to the chocolate. And then I pull it out, kind of take a hold of the edge of it and I shake it a little bit because they do, the sugar does get kind of caught up in the squares. Now at this point I let them cool down probably about five minutes. So there is a couple of ways that you can do this. You can eat these plain just as they are. Um, we prefer not to do that because it's really messy with all the coating. It's going to fall off all over the place. Kids will really enjoy it because they like making a mess, right? Another thing you can do is make kind of a Oreo type cookie out of it. If you've seen our Oreo cookie chaffle video posted up here, um, that's where you can get the cream recipe. And to do that, you're just going to take one of them and cut it right in half. And then you would just put the cream on in the middle, put it together, and you've got yourself a sandwich. But the way that we prefer to do it is to cut them into churro fries or churro strips. That's what this is for. So we'll just take it and we'll cut it. And you can get, depending on how wide you want it, you can get at least four. So once they're all cut up, you can eat them just like this. Or if you want a little extra treat, again, if you go back to our Oreo chaffle video, that cream, if you put that in the microwave for a little bit after if it's been in the fridge for a while, it's a yeah. sweet dipping sauce. And you can just dip it in there and eat it that way. All right, so my favorite part, it's the taste testing time. Try it without I, the cream first. I gotta try. So good. It's got the crispy outside. It's got the crunchy outside because of the cinnamon and sugar. Mm -hmm. And then it's got kind of the chewy inside. Chewy inside. So then. Yeah, the cream. And if you want to like add the cream with it. Out of this world. So good. It just makes it so much sweeter. It's really, it's really, in my opinion, a really, I don't know if decadent is too fancy of a word, but it's a really nice treat if you want a really nice treat. Pair it with your Mexican fajitas or the chorizo ones. I don't know about the guacamole one though. <laughs> guacamole one is good.
So definitely give this a try guys and let us know what you think of it. Um, this is our bonus this week video this week because we normally shoot our carboholic. So we did, we're giving you guys this one instead. Mm -hmm. and we'll be back next week with our nine month carboholic update. But that's it for us today, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Make sure you click that bell down so you're notified whenever we post new videos. And until then, stay keto. See you guys.